Hello again! If you're a very keen subscriber of my channel or a local Kiwi, you might recognise soon where I'm at. I am here at Flying Fish Studios, which I was um, at a few months back on my birthday, which I did a quick vlog about when I was using, um, what was I using? Sort of sound blankets and stuff. And um, yeah, that's the wardrobe makeup room and a new change I have here at Flying Fish is a beautiful kitchen. Um, yeah, this is all new, so that's quite nice. What I don't like is I've changed the bathrooms and like the, f the fans just like randomly, well, not quite randomly, but they just keep on turning on now and then. Yeah, see, so just turned on now. I think it's a sensor for when you hear people come in. But I've heard like those bathroom fans go on when I'm pretty sure I didn't even have anybody out here. So not quite sure why they're going off, but I think they're still building it. Um, they haven't or sort of doing some of the changes, so maybe they will tweak and fix, be able to let you turn off the sensors, I don't know. Anyway, um, so we're here doing like adverts for these spas, and uh, yeah, I'm recording sound for it, inside the studio over here, do -do 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 -do. and um, yeah, so for most of yesterday, because it's the second day, I've just been having it, my boom pole on a C-stand, one of the best investments I've had, buying a C-stand, and doo -doo. and you see down here, I've got my F8N recording. And um, yeah, I've been quite often just using my iPad as well. So it's been handy when I've um, wanted to be sort of standing somewhere. I could just go out with my long boom pole and headphones and just uh, look at the iPad with the F control um, app on it and just be able to start, stop and see what everything's going. And I haven't actually even put on the weight of the bag on me even once this week. So between this and the C-stand, I'm sure my back will thank me when I'm 50 years old. Um, yes, especially like yesterday, there was a lot of um, basically just the talent talking straight to camera off the teleprompter. So it's not just the fact that a C-stand, the boom on it is like easier for you, although <laughs> You should always prioritise really sound over, you know, just making life easy. It actually really does help you get better sound when it is just simply like straight to camera because then you can literally put that just half an inch above the edge of frame line and like, could you maintain the same degree of precision if you are holding the boom yourself? Maybe, but it will kind of steal all your attention away and you wouldn't be able to sort of maximise your actual you know, end audio quality. And going on to other points, so when you're doing some voiceovers over in the chair over there, I put this little um, plant lav so that while they were doing sort of close-ups and the hands doing here, they wanted to mix in a little bit more of um, the, the jet noise and the sparse, we could sort of reinforce that audio along with the much cleaner audio being recorded over there. So that was my uh, fourth track I was doing. And what else should I say? Oh yeah, we've got two cameras running here. This is B cam, which is a Ace Sony R Mark III. And the FS7 over there, that's mostly been on a jib, but now it's got the teleprompter on it. And hi, director and hey. DOP people. And that's probably everything I can say about it. Oh yeah, I'm running around with my sort of still in process of being built sound cart. Oh yeah, and I brought along my um, F control panel here. And I was like, because um, I was kind of thinking, especially after yesterday, when I was kind of sitting on the, on the cart all day, I was like, this could actually be quite nice luxury. But then when I got here I realised I forgot my high rose, like the straight high rose connection to power the F8N. I just had the right angle one and I prefer my right angle um, cable to power it because then it doesn't stick out and have a greater di likelihood of being damaged. And um, yeah, but that does mean the right angle one covers up the USB port for this. So if I'm just having the back sitting on the cart because I want to plug in this, I've got to use my straight. Um, connection high-rise cable, so I uh, forgot to bring that along. Never mind, it was just thought it would have been a nice luxury to use this. Um, hey, this is a cherry picker they've got here in the studio, so they can put those lights way up there. You can see one, where am I pointing at stuff? Um, anyway, I'm rambling on. What else can I be saying? Oh yeah, so you can see this is what the teleprompter is. You can see the director's monitors and stuff. And um, yeah, goodbye until next time.